Good day guys, Evans here from Gachoki Studios. First of all, I would like to say thank you for purchasing product rendering tools. It means a lot to us because it's a project we've been working on for a few months now. So we are also excited to release the add-on to you. Uh, we are also excited to see what you are going to make using product rendering tools. We are also working on more tools and features. Stay tuned in the coming update that more awesome tools and features. If you have not yet purchased product rendering tools, it is available on Blender Market. It is also available on our Gumroad account. I have included the links in the description so you can head over to Gumroad or Blender Market to get a hold of product rendering tools. Let's get started on how to use this awesome add-on. Once you purchase and download the zip file, you will open Blender and go to Edit, Preferences, Install. You will head over to where you saved your zip file. Do not unzip the zip file. So you select it and hit install add-on. Then you activate and save preferences. Now you can close that window. Product rendering tools is accessible by hitting the letter N. N for noise on your keyboard. And you will be able now to access all these awesome tools so we'll start with the import assets from other files section here these tools assist you to append or link assets from other blend files they also assist you to import fba files from other project files and also be able to import obj files in this case let's try the append model uh, tool so in my case we are going to append an asset that I have saved somewhere in the computer. So I'll hit append. It will it will open this window. I will go and simply double click on the blend file. Go to object. In my case, I need all these assets in my scene. So I'll select it and hit append. There you go. It's that simple. Same applies to all these other tools. If you have uh, an FBX uh, file saved on your computer, you're able to import it by hitting FBX. If you have an OBJ file, you just hit the import OBJ import button. Let's go to the next uh, section, which is add a decal label. So product rendering tools allows you to import and attach stickers on your models in this case i would like to add our logo on this bottle first import the image i'll select the image and head over to where that image is saved on my computer i select it and hit import images as plain let me scale it up to to be able to to see it so that is my logo let me let me rotate it uh, to be able to to face the bottle so r z 90 so from there i will uh, let me position it in a way that uh, where i would like it to be projected on the bottle I will scale it down a bit. There you go. So I would like to project this image onto my bottle. So how do I go about that? It's very simple. So here you will just go to select mesh. In this case, uh, it is the bottle. I would like to project the image onto the bottle. While the image is selected, I simply hit on project image. The image is now projected on the bottle. The good thing about this, it doesn't matter if you have a transparent image or you have an opaque image. They both work the same. They are perfectly projected onto your assets in the scene. If you want to animate the bottle with the sticker attached to it, so you just parent that sticker to the, to the bottle. In this case, you just select the sticker shift select the bottle and you hit ctrl p 
and uh, you go to object and you select object keep transform so now when you select your bottle and move it around it also moves with the sticker and you're good now you can animate your bottle while it's still the sticker is still attached to the to the bottle so now we are going to go to the next uh, section which is uh, more tools this section is going to have even more tools you guys can go to the comment section of this video and tell us which other tools you'd like to see added to product rendering tools if you've already purchased product rendering tools go and hit the request a tool button it will take you to a website where you will be able now to submit your request we'll view your request and we will respond to you accordingly. If it is a tool that can be added immediately, we promise you we will add it immediately. Let's continue. So on the more tool sections, we have the turn selected object into a shadow catcher. We want to place this bottle on top of a background image. Uh, for it to appear realistic, we also have to add like a shadow to appear here on the ground that is the work of the shadow catcher so let's add a shadow catcher in this case it's just a plane so we'll go to shift a mesh plane let's uh, scale it up with the with the shadow catcher in position you simply select the plane and you turn it into a shadow catcher by by checking that box so let us uh, give it a quick render or uh, a quick preview you see how it appears which with an hdri background now you just hit the viewport shading button and there you go so the plane is no longer opaque it is now a shadow catcher let me just add a source of light so you're able to see the shadow clearly so i'm going to add a sun let me position it there and then i rotate it and uh, add the intensity or rather add the strength i will crank it up to around 20 wow now you can see the shadow is uh, the shadow is quite visible depending on uh, your scene that's how you simply do it so that's it for that tool the next tool is very simple which is the render image if you would like to render an image uh, you just hit the render image that's all we have for now but as we promised, we are working to add even more tools to product rendering tools. So keep it locked. If you have any suggestions, if you have uh, any difficulties using product rendering tools, simply click request a tool. Uh, as we mentioned, uh, apart from uh, product rendering tools, we also working on other projects to bring you even more useful add-ons and assets. So to be on the lookout or rather to be in the loop, whenever new add-ons and assets come up, simply click on this button. From here, you so from here you can call us. If you like to call us, you can send us a, a WhatsApp, you can send us an email, you can send us a message uh, of the tools that you'd like to see on product rendering tools. If you are stuck, you can write to us and we will, we will respond as soon as possible. So that's all for now, guys. Uh, uh, we'd like also to know what you have created. We'll also like to see what you have created using product rendering tools. You can also share with us anywhere, anytime and uh, see you in the in the next one goodbye